Finally, the Attack on Titan Season 4 trailer. And no, the Attack on Titan final season is not delayed. Looks like the Titan is out of the bag. I was expecting a new Attack on Titan visual, maybe a teaser trailer. No, this is a full-length Attack on Titan final season trailer. You know, in case any of you were having a bad day, here you go. A gift from the Titan God. So, if any of you guys are hyped as I am, be sure to smash that thumbs up and let's dive into this. By the way, this video is sponsored by Bookwalker. Definitely check them out after your video for all your Attack on Titan and anime needs. This kind of available for Fox and fans. Alright, so trailer breakdown time. Keep in mind, this is not gonna include spoilers. I will have a more in-depth manga-centric look within 24 hours. Kicking this off, you have a little birdie, followed by another little birdie. Hey, it's Falco. Alright, so just giving a little bit of context. You are looking at Falco, which is one of the new warrior candidates over at Marley. The poor dude is in the middle of a freaking battlefield. I'm telling you, what a tough life. I am very, very pleasantly surprised with the establishing shots here. Although I pictured the walls being white here. Briefly here, the new Attack on Titan studio is not Wit Studio, but MAPPA. Save that in your little inventory box, we'll get back to this. Anyway, did someone say Attack on Titan? Looks more like Attack on Humans right now. And I'm not even talking about the Attack on Titan Uprising arc. This is not the modern age yet, but definitely forward into the future. Right away, we could see some of the new warrior candidates. I was most curious about this one. So hey, everyone's new favorite character from the manga, Gabby. Look at this little devil, so bright, smiling. She's got the twinkle in her eye. Next up, look at those battleships. Looks like the Age of Titans may be done for. And then you have this massive blimp in the air. Again, another very nice establishing shot. Plus, notice, this stuff is not in CG. As for the War Chief Zeke. Oh yes, you have this guy looking way better than in Attack on Titan Season 3. Then, oh, this will be a fan favorite for the ladies, an older Reiner. This guy definitely lost some of that baby Titan fant. Next up, this mysterious new Titan. The body looks like Amalia's Titan, but the face does have that hardened texture. I really love the hair here. It actually reminds me of a lion's mane. This Porco Titan is just wrecking shop here. Next up, looks like the car Titan got an upgrade. Once again, very pleasantly surprised, no CG usage for the tech. Imagine if the car Titan was packing this in the previous season. Briefly, a different shot of the warrior group. My god, Gabby could sure fly. I'm really interested to see some of the anime-only reaction to some of the new characters, especially her. Next up, Porco. Is this the first time we're seeing this guy in color? I don't recall this guy being a blonde. Then Best Girl Peak has arrived. Looks like she just got out of the hospital. Definitely a standout is the red band. Sorry, Annie Mikasa. The new Attack on Titan Best Girl has arrived. Next up, the shot of Hilo slaying that titan, the statue. I know we haven't even gotten to the good parts, but I'm just going freaking gaga over all of these shots. Then Gabby vs Falco. How appropriate for the warrior candidates to be butting hands. And then, did anyone say baseball time? If you guys were a fan of the Beast Titan baseball technique last season, you ain't seen nothing yet. As for Reiner and the little bird boy, I'm calling it right now, this episode, or maybe even the next one, will freaking blow up the internet. So nothing really too exciting here, but the context, Reiner going down, down below. This actually gives me a brief parallel of Eren doing the same. For Eren, it was the basement. For Reiner, it's this. Then, for someone loading up a gun, looks like Reiner's about to pop a titan in its mouth. They even included the flashback of Reiner and Eren. I really wish there was more scenes between the two in Attack on Titan Season 1. But either way, really glad that they're going back and filling in some of this stuff. Next up, Eren's Attack Titan. Almost a minute 30 into the trailer. Hopefully this looks better than Eren vs. Reiner in the previous season. In my Ymir Gun, they even included Eren overseeing the Warhammer Titan transformation. Not even Christmas yet. And they did it. I knew it. They freaking revealed the Warhammer Titan in the trailer. Alright, so getting a confirmation, this whole thing is white. And yes, the below parts are in fact red. It looks like the eyes are bluish, light bluish. I'm just thinking the Titan Gods that the Warhammer Titan is not. CG. Hopefully they stay away from CG for some of the other Warhammer moves. Next up, don't forget about the Survey Corps. They even included the blimp. So how many spoilers do you want in the Attack on Titan Season 4 trailer? Mappa Studio. Yes. Cause really, anyone watching this will immediately know why this is called the Attack on Marley arc. At least my name for it. From the Survey Corps here, you can briefly see the updated 3D maneuver gear. Now you have the Wings of Freedom on the chest. As for the grown-up survey corps, first off, the stallion. Oh yes, this guy let his hair grow out. I think Horseboy is going to get a lot more fans this season. 
Then Connie, a tad more hair. I'm getting a Krillin vibe from him. Then Potato Girl Sasha, one of my personal favorites. The most notable thing here, of course, is a different hairstyle. Hopefully you saw my recent Attack on Titan video going over the creation of every Attack on Titan character. It looks like Sasha has actually gone back to the original design that Isayama intended. Then Mikasa. While everyone is getting longer hair, Mikasa's hair actually got shorter. At least for manga fans, some people have been mixed on her new look. Personally for me, I much preferred her with longer hair. It'll be really interesting to see how Attack on Titan Season 4 fans are split on this too. Then for Armin, really almost no change here, although he does look a bit weird in this shot. Time to unleash the beast. In this next shot, you have the Lion Titan attacking a Survey Corps member. This guy looks freaking awesome. Of course, you had to give him glowing eyes. I am so ready to see any of these new action scenes. Even the Car Titan is going all out. I know there's always been a joke about whether Attack on Titan was a mech series or not. This is actually getting more into that direction. Then for Levi, looks like the Attack on Titan world is right. This guy's slashing away at some titans in the woods. And it looks like that must be an Ackerman rule. At some point in the fight, you have to get blood on your face. But really, who doesn't love that? Looks freaking sweet. And what do you think about Levi's new look? Four years later. I was wondering when the Beast Titan would show up. Unfortunately, only a back shot. It looks like someone took a Titan-sized roll of duct tape and just yanked it off. Then you have the Attack Titan Eren lifting that freaking ship. Oh yeah, someone has been hitting the Titan gym. That works both ways. You have Mr. Freedom here showing off his abs. Once again, I'm wondering how anime-only people will react to Eren. Eren's new look. Next up, cause they need to show everything in the trailer, Armin's Colossal Titan. Alright, so obviously this Titan looks pretty different from Bert's Colossal Titan. The thing that immediately stood out for me are the light blue eyes. But then notice the face, this guy has lips. Definitely let me know which Colossal Titan looked better. I'm sorry Armin, I have to side with the first one. Next up, humanity's strongest in trouble. You have so many titans circling him. Dun dun dun. Next up, the titan history play. So ever since I've been to the Attack on Titan final exhibition, I've been super hyped to see this. Of course, over there, they had their own display version. And definitely check out my video on that if you haven't seen it. Next up, Willy Tiber here. Another plus from the Attack on Titan exhibition was that you actually heard Willy's speech, Willy's voice. I'm telling you, that episode where he takes the stage is gonna be trending like five times over. In case anyone was wondering about the female titan, hey, blonde girl Annie still in the crystal. Up in front, you have lover boy Armin giving her a bedtime story. They even included the shot of the warriors in the past. What a difference. Reiner looks super happy. Annie seems like she doesn't give a damn. And Bert, ah, so innocent. For a split second too, they even included this explosion shot. My god, that looks awful. Hopefully no one important got hurt. And what's this? They even included this shot that happened very recently. I am super curious to see how the anime expands on this scene. You know they're going to. Then for something bloody. Of course, this should be Grisha's sister being eaten. Then for the hairy Grisha Titan. You know, they really are including everything here. I'm hoping they go back to the scene and actually make it extremely brutally bloody. They even included the shot of this historia looking girl and that weird thing in the water. This stuff is not gonna be until like 2021, but I want it now. Then that little girl having 13 fingers pointed at her. And this next shot, I'm not gonna mess around. You know who this is. At this point, I'm trying to think what did they not include here? Definitely one of the top three shots in this trailer, the actual Ymir tree, or should I say Yggdrasil. I cannot wait for the Titan realm scene. Next up, it looks like Amazon is delivering Titans via the sky. Talking about Willy taking stage. You know, if this doesn't make Attack of Titan win anime of the year this year, I don't know what would. Hey, looks like they did include the Beast Titan here. You got the Beast Titan and the Armor Titan. Looks like the Armor Titan is really living up to his defense of nature here. Then the shot of so many blimps in the sky. I guess this is the only spot where they include Yelena. Where is Oyakopon? Anyway, more important, Eren versus Reiner. What is this, round three, round four? These two best buddies are destined to fight. And I don't want to sound like I'm discounting Attack on Titan season three, but this already looks much better than that previous fight. If anything, stuff like this should reassure you not to worry about the studio change. With that in mind, let's actually jump there. What studio is no longer doing Attack on Titan? It turns out it was MAPPA. Unfortunately, I have already seen a lot of people freaking out about this. We have people saying, oh no, it's gonna be the whole Tokyo Ghost situation again. You know what happened with One Punch Man with Season 2 after it changed studios? Or most recently, Seven Deadly Sins. Curse you, Studio Dean. To be honest, those might be some of the worst examples of a studio change. Hopefully, this trailer does reassure a lot of you. 
this studio change might be more like Konosuba changing studio. Despite them going to a different studio, you know how awesome the Konosuba movie turned out. Titan fingers crossed that this Attack on Titan season 4 studio change is similar. If you go either to my anime list or the wiki, you could check out what previous anime MAPPA studio has done. The ones that I'm familiar with and stand out, Yuri on Ice, Kakeguri Compulsive Gambler, Banana Fish, Zombie Land Saga, Dororo, although hopefully this is more like the first half of Dororo, and they are also working on the upcoming God of High School. I think most Attack on Titan fans will be satisfied or reassured with this given trailer, and I will hopefully do a more in-depth look in the following video. If anything, here are some possible concerns, although minor-ish. First off, how much CG was used? Most notably, it was used with that one Colossal Titan shot, which honestly at this point, unfortunately, is expected. The Warhammer Titan transformation did look a bit CG. I'm not sure whether that was just the lighting. I need to get a closer look at that too, which I think right now is fine. Although manga readers do know of a possible CG fest that could potentially come later. Come on, this is Attack on Titan. Freaking spend the time and resources to actually make the finale epic. I don't want to see an overlord situation. With the change of studio, one thing that does make me raise an eyebrow is a new director. Unfortunately, no one from the WIT studio came over, director-wise. And don't get me wrong, I do think other people are capable of handling this production. But it would have been nice to have someone on board that had already had experience doing the previous Attack on Titan seasons. Hopefully there is some contact in some way left over. And then I need to mention it, the NHK Network. If you are familiar with the Attack on Titan manga, you would have noticed some things being censored in Attack on Titan Season 3, Part 1, and Part 2. Of course, a huge chunk of this has been blamed to the more public network. I already do see some shots in the trailer that potentially hint at this season being toned down, if you will. I do want to have potentially some blind faith right now that it will be better than some of the previous censored or cut out stuff. I mean, at this point, I would even take just a black bar or more steam. I would accept that, then later remove it in the Blu-ray release. And let me once again stress, these are minor nitpicks. As for the actual release of Attack on Titan Season 4, that is coming out in fall. Yes, the final Attack on Titan Season has not been delayed. So far, Attack on Titan Season 3 has not been following standard anime practices when airing. Which means, unlike pretty much every anime that starts at the beginning of the season, this could start later on, sometime like in late October. What do you know, you may get Attack on Titan Season 4 for Halloween. And then I know what you're wondering, how long will this final season be? Of course, naturally, the manga is not done yet. And of course, in this trailer, you've seen stuff that happened very, very recently. As a Colossal fan, that got me super excited. Given the current manga source material, there's enough for 20 plus episodes or two cores. The final result should be closer to three cores or 30 plus episodes. Naturally, this being Attack on Titan, most likely it's not gonna be a rounded off figure. And then of course, there is a question about whether this final season will be split. I still hope we don't see Attack on Titan season four, part one, part two, part three, and I do actually have more faith in the MAPPA studio. Although with the state of the world, with you know what spreading, that does bring my confidence down a lot. I really hope it doesn't happen, but definitely be ready for some possible break in between. So for hardcore Attack on Titan fans, definitely let me know. What was your favorite shot in the trailer? Give me top three if you can't pick one. And what do you think? Especially from anime only people, did they reveal too much? I'm going to be working on the more in-depth video right after this video. Top 3 shots for me, Levi Ackerman going Super Ackerman mode, 13 fingers pointing at the little blonde, and then the Titan Realm shot. And really quickly, a special thanks to Bookwalker for sponsoring this video. Hey, anyone else here like Attack on Titan? Definitely check out Bookwalker for your Attack on Titan needs. They got all the Attack on Titan manga, that even includes the Attack on Titan Before the Fall prequel, along with some of the Attack on Titan guidebooks that have juicy information. Head over to their site, pick whatever you want, and use coupon code FOXIN to get $5 off. You get an entire awesome buck, you're supporting the series, and you're also helping to support this channel in these tough times. If you do need any recommendation, definitely be sure to reach out and ask me. But anyway, bonus question. How hyped are you for Attack on Titan in Season 4? Do you have any worries with the new studio? Or does this new trailer reassure you? I do read comments, so post below, or just say hi. Anyway, definitely check out my new video going over the Tower of God lore. That's right, Attack on Titan isn't the only anime with some deep lore. Go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you guys later.